Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Node in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over all the different variable types, or at least the top 9 that I found are the most useful for you to know anyway. And now this isn't really technically a, a node in Unreal Engine, but it's something very useful for you, which everyone should know. You should all know all the different ones so that if someone mentions them, you know exactly what it is, how you can use it, what you need to use it for. And it's also something very useful to be able to use all the other nodes properly in Unreal. So I just thought this is something very useful to throw in here as well. So firstly, I'll start off with what is a variable. A variable is any factor, trait, or condition which can exist in differing amounts or types. So essentially, a variable is a box or space in which a computer can store a value. And this value can change or vary, and a program can use as many variables as it needs to. So again, a variable is just something where you store a value. So this could be a true or false value, a numerical value, a location, anything like that. It's just something where you store it so the computer can easily access it, or the game engine, in this case, Unreal Engine 4. So let's move on to the top nine most commonly used ones which I found which you all need to know really to use Unreal properly or to use all the nodes in any way, it would really help you out. And these are in no real particular order. So the first one I've got is a boolean. Now in Unreal Engine, this is shown as red. And this is a true or false or a yes or no statement. And in computer science or in coding, this is one or two. So again, boolean is red and it is basically true or false. So this could be used well for if the player is sprinting, you'd set it to is sprinting. If it's not, you'd set it sprinting to false. So that way you can easily check, for example, if you wanted to do the stamina, you can check to see if the player is sprinting. The next one I've got is an integer, which in Unreal is a kind of light green. They describe it as a C green. And an integer is essentially a whole number. So this could be one, two, three, anything along those lines. An integer is a light green and it's a whole number. Now there is a limit to the integer that you can use, so you can't go too high or too low, but it is a very big number. And that is minus 2 billion, 147 million, 483,648, and then 2 billion, 147 million, 483,647. So as you can see, very big, you probably won't ever get that high in your games, at least you shouldn't anyway, but yeah, that they are the max values you can use. And these are good for health or stamina. So again, integer is light green, and it's a whole number. Then we'll get onto the floats. So now in other languages, you might hear this be called a real number or a double or a decimal, or something like that. But in Unreal Engine, they are called floats and they are a different type of green. So they're more kind of lime green kind of thing. I think Unreal call it a yellow green. And a float is essentially a number with a decimal in it. So this could be 1.25 or minus 4.073. Anything along those lines, it's just a number with a decimal point in it. And this could be good for also your health and stamina if you want it to be more precise. So you want, instead of just whole numbers, you want decimals so you can get more values in there. Or also if you want to get random numbers, again, you have more values between zero and one than just zero and one. So if you want to do a random loading screen or something, you can choose a random number between those float values. And now next up, I've got a name variable, which is kind of a light purple pink kind of color in Unreal. And this is just a text specifically used for naming things. So that's quite obvious. So it's just a text specifically used for giving something a name i.e. if you want to name something an apple or a sword or an axe or something like that you'd give it this variable of name and input that as a default value next up i've got a string which in unreal is a magenta color and this is a group of alphanumerical values put into a readable sentence so essentially a string is just a sentence in your game so this could be i.e. hello world so like in your print strings you have hello as default that is obviously a string as you are printing a string. An alphanumeric basically means both letters and numbers. So again, you're just using those characters to create a sentence. Next up, I've got the vector, which is a yellow or gold color in Unreal. And this is a set of three numbers, which is used for location, for 3D coordinates. And now you can use this as RGB data in other languages. I'm not too sure about Unreal, but for vectors, you just use this for 3D coordinates. So the location in your game. And those three numbers are obviously the X, the Y, and the Z. So that is just where your character is or where something is in your game and in your world, your map, your level, anything along those lines. The vector is a yellow gold color and it is 3D coordinates. Next up, I've got the rotator, which is a kind of purpley blue color in Unreal. And this is a group of numbers which obviously defines the rotation of something. So this gives you the direction you're facing in a 3D space. So you could use this for a compass for north, south, east, west. So it's essentially just gets the way you're facing the rotation of something. So the player, an object, anything like that. Just the rotator is a purpley blue color and it is used for getting the rotation of something. And next up, I've got the transform variable, which is an orange color in Unreal. And now this is so you can use the rotation, location and scale all in one variable. So if you want to get all three of those variables 
in one, you can do that. So instead of having to get the vector location, the rotator rotation, and then also the scale, you can just get a transform variable and store all three values in there. So that can be quite useful if you want to get the specific values for something like a player or anything like that. And also I'll throw a bonus one in as well. So we have 10 and that is an object variable, which is a light blue in Unreal. And this is simply just an object reference. So you just store a reference to a separate blueprint in this object. So this could be a light, a static mesh, a sound cue, anything along those lines. You just store the reference to that object, that blueprint in this variable. But I think that'll be it for this video on explaining all the different variable types in Unreal, or at least the most common ones which you should know to really utilize all the different nodes and everything in Unreal. And if someone says something to you, like you need a boolean or you need to get an integer, you know exactly what it is and what they mean without having to ask again. So I hope this helped. I hope you understand all these a bit more now. If you do or don't, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, I can hopefully help you understand a bit more and give you a few more examples if you need them. And also while you're down there, if you want, you can comment some further requests for future nodes if you have any. But again, I think I'll wait for this video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.